In the summer, when the sky's blue and the gulls twist and turn, and skim above the waves, then it's a good time to walk along the seashore. Bella and Mark often go out for a day on the beach with their uncle. It's a pebbly beach, so it's a good idea to wear shoes. One of the things that they like to do is to search among the pebbles on the beach. Sometimes they find interesting stones. There's one. It's got a hole right through the middle. Pebbles make a scrunching noise, don't they? But when they walk further along the beach, the pebbles get bigger. They're rocks, really. The sea gets caught between the rocks and makes pools. And sometimes, other interesting things are left behind in the water. There's some shells. A bit like snails, aren't they? And each one is clinging to that rock. What else? Should be something in that pool. I have to search about a bit. Yes. There's another of those shells. That one was right under the water. It's called a periwinkle. Winkle, for short. Back it goes into the water. There's another winkle. It comes out of its shell for a walk. It moves quite slowly, doesn't it? Have you ever heard someone say, it sticks like a limpet? Well, it means that it's stuck on hard. Those shellfish are limpets, and they stick really hard to the rock. But if you're very quick, you can sometimes get them off. There's one. That's the underneath of the limpet, in its shell. Along the seashore, there are always lots of empty shells. Shells left behind by the creatures that used to live inside. A whelk used to live in that one. Mark's found something else. It's another shell underneath the seaweed. It belongs to a clam. And the clam's still inside there. Clams usually hide just under the sand, but this one must have been washed onto the rocks by the sea. Look, a 
That's a cockle shell. There's no cockle inside, though. See all the ridges on it? It closes up neatly, doesn't it? And open again. Well, Bella and Mark have got old shoes to walk in the water with. So they're going to see what's on the other side of that rock pool. One of the best places to look is on the side of a rock, just above the water. And there's something. It's a small animal that lives in the sea. It's called a sea anemone. Can you see? It's just moving in the middle there. That's a sea anemone too. But the tide's come in, covered it with water, and the anemone has opened out. Looks like a flower, doesn't it? Mark and Bella enjoy searching in the pools, but when they look into the water, they often wonder what it would be like if they could go under the sea, have a look. That's what it's like under the sea. That's seaweed growing on rocks. As the sea moves backwards and forwards, the seaweed moves with it, first one way, and then another. And among the seaweed, there are lots of other plants waving about. That one in the middle is another sea anemone. Backwards and forwards it goes. They're like trees waving in the wind. There's something funny in there. Can you see it? That's a crab. A crab lives under the sea. That one's about the size of a dinner plate. There's another one. It's walking this time. A crab walks sideways. It's turning around now. There's its face. Those are its eyes on top and its claws in front. They look very large, don't they? This is a lobster. In fact, it's called a squat lobster because it's very short. It's about as long as a match. putting food in its mouth. It has very long claws, so it can reach out a long way to catch its food. That's the bottom of the sea. And it's very sandy, isn't it? Should be some fish swimming about. There's one. The 
It's called a bass. It has a very large mouth and rolling eyes. That's its body. It's covered in silver scales. All the way to its tail. keeping very still in the water, isn't it? Perhaps it's hoping to catch some food. Go on, fish, have a swim. Back on the beach, Bella and Mark are still looking for things. Past the cave, past the rocks, there's something high up there on the cliff, can you see, it's a bird, do you know what it's called, a seagull, there it goes, high into the sky, There's the sea down below. And that's the seagull's nest, perched on a rock, with just one egg in it. Off the seagull goes again. It never flies too far away from its nest, just floats gently above it to keep a lookout for anything that might come too near. Mark and Bella have seen a lot of interesting things by the sea. Soon it'll be time to go home. Perhaps they'll go for a walk another day, along the seashore. 